Hi, you guys. Um, have to start it over. But yeah, um, what I was talking about. Oh, uh, I'm still sleepy. It is like raining in Southeast Texas. Like, literally. Um, it's supposed to be raining all day today, but, you know. But, anyway, near or there, um, I'm just trying to figure out what can I do on my channel, what can I like to make my to make uh i mean to have subscribers you know more subscribers to be entertaining entertained in my channel um but my thing is what i want to do is i want to do like beauty and stuff like that on my channel but you know it's kind of like hard but then i want to vlog as well but you know i don't want to show my kids on my vlog even though i have some videos before youtube got so freaking strict about kids and stuff um but um yeah i mean I don't know. I mean, because I really want to do this YouTube stuff. And then I want to do... I am going to start my own business. It's like taking a slow process of me starting my business. Um, in the state of Texas, it costs two... 247 to get your tax ID. You have to pay for that and then every month you pay for your taxes. Or you might don't even have to pay taxes because you don't have a building. But there's near or there. But yeah. Um, I went on to a royalty um, channel and I had subscribed to her channel. And I was just on her second video, she was talking about her business. And it just inspired me to go ahead and start my own business. And I'm like, my own business. I'm as of right now, I was I'm not that scared. But as of when I was watching her video, I was like, mm -mm, that is too much, too much to deal with. I ain't got time, you know, but, you know, she's pregnant and she have other kids going to school and stuff. And I was like, wait a minute, I can do that at home, you know, to be able to do everything at home. But see, the thing is. You have to have money behind you. That's the thing that they don't tell you. Yeah, you can purchase your tax ID, but for you to get all these products, but the thing is, you have to get a loan. Now, the website that she had mentioned on her video, I went to it, downloaded it. True enough, it is amazing. It is amazing. And um, I have two distributors um, that I'm, that I'm, but then I, and that, and see, that's the thing. I want to have like one distributor for hair and then, you know, but they say they can give you free samples, right? The samples are not for free. They're not for free. You have to pay for them. Um, you know, like I told the guy, you know, give me till next month, February. And then 
I'll go from there and see what I can do in getting, you know, purchasing my bundles of hair. And they do weeks too. So I was like, okay, well, you know, because I see how she have her business. It's like so set up, so cute. To where I'm like, oh my God, like, I want to do, you know, because I want girls and women in today's society to feel beautiful, to have that self confidence, to have, you know, to make sure that they love themselves on the inside so they can have that, that, like, on one day oh girl i'm looking cute i'm looking cute oh why i have this on my head i'm letting my hair air dry by the way not to get off topic but i'm letting my hair air dry i braided my hair into two ponytails i don't know if y'all can see it or not let me i'm always in my bed but i like to be i'm like a homebody see I braided my hair while I was wet. I hate when I braid my hair wet, but it was just to get it out the way. And I put conditioner on my hair. And and this, oh my God, I love this. I did my daughter and me a silk press with this. And it, period. I, I can't say nothing else about it. But, you know, I love it. And it's just so good that, you know, that I have, you know, things that I want to do, you know. But it works really good. I use it on my son hair, my five-year-old. And I use it on my daughter's hair when she's here. And I use it on my hair. But, um, yeah, so. But back to what I was talking about. Um, you know, but I feel like when you start your own business, you have to have money behind you to be able to purchase these products. You know, just because you're able to go and get these loans and just know that you have to pay the loans back so you know it's like what the heck like dang i need this you know if i want to start this business i need to give me a job so i can be able to buy these kinds of products for my business so my husband he feels like well, we need to try and get our smoke shop off the ground first before you start your business. And then it'll, because it's like, it'll be too much. And then I didn't think of it that way, but he has a lot of stuff in his shop already. It's just that, you know, I want I want to go ahead and just start my business, you know, not to think about his and stuff like that. But, you know, it's like, what could you do? You know, I just want my, I just want to have my own, you know, I'm tired of working for, you know, for these people, you know, that tells you what to do, when to come in, why you late, this and this. And, you know, by the time, you know, you working your butt off, then your hours not adding up, then you like, uh-uh, this not right. And then they got to go back in and do your, uh, check your hours and then they'll give you a check and all this and this. I'd rather be at home with my kids to be able to, do the things that I can do for my kids because right now I feel like I'm failing them because I'm not able to give them the things that they actually want. You know, like for this Christmas, um, they wanted a Nintendo Switch and I was like, no, we can't do no Nintendo Switch. We got to 
figure out something else. What else do y'all want? And so they got tablets. So that was something that they wanted as well that was on their list. So they got their tablets and, you know, and um, they barely got clothes. Um... Because they did not want clothes. Um, they wanted electronic stuff. My daughter got a backpack purse and stuff like that. Little girly stuff. And But I felt like it wasn't the best Christmas that I wanted to give them. Because I had my daughter for Christmas this last year. Now for this year... She goes over there to her people house, and then I have her for Thanksgiving. So it's kind of like swap, swap, and I hate it. She hates it, but I can't do anything about it, but I could do something about it by getting me a lawyer, but right now we just plan it by ear, see how and everything going. Um, this year for my 2020 resolution is to start my business, um, I want to be able to, um, do more content content on my YouTube channel. Um, I want to make more money, <laughs> more money, even though that's everybody dream. Um, I want to move out of this house that I'm in and I want to move into another house. Um, I want to make sure that me and my kids are good. You know, make sure that they have something set up for them, you know, to where they don't have to depend on anybody trying to, you know, come after them for, you know, or just to say if I, you know, do pass away, I don't want them to have to ask people for money to bury me or stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so it's like a win-lose situation, but then it's not. But for my 2020 resolution, one more thing is, um, I don't have time for the bullshit. Um, especially from my daughter's dad, um family, um, you know, all the petty bullshit that goes on with family, um, this one don't like this one, you know, this one did something, you know, I don't, I don't have time for it, um, and then morally, you know, I have some family members that call and check on me and stuff like that, but like, I only have like one family member that actually checks on me and call me, you know, to see what I'm doing and all this and this, and that's my cousin, Buffy. Now, sometimes she can be so damn annoying and... just so annoying now my other family members i have their numbers half of the time you know i understand life is busy everybody don't have time to call or anything you know stuff like that but you know i mean one year our whole family had got together right I'm going to tell you this quick story. Um, we got together, our whole family, 
And we was like, yeah, we're going to call you. We're going to start calling everybody and all this and this. That, that following year, nobody made no progress in calling nobody. Nothing at all. At all. So, you know, it's like, why do I even have your number in my phone if you don't call or check up on me or see what I'm doing or if you in the area, call, you know, but there's near or there, you know, but anyway, back to my new year's resolution. Yep, um, before the New Year's even started, I mean, came, I was listening to, um, Mo3, and I was like, what, like, I mean, I liked it, the beat, the whole thing of everybody, you know, and, it kind of put into focus to where I was like, okay, you know, I had to constantly listen to the song, like constantly, constantly, and constantly, and figure out, you know, and meditate on the words he was saying, which I understood some of it, and then I was like, what? Like, okay. But then I was like, okay but then i kept on listening to it kept on listening to it and when i listened to just his part and then i listened to um boosty part the remix i was like okay you know now i see what the hell they talking about and you know i feel like you know Everybody ain't your goddamn friend. Everybody is not your damn friend. Nor family, nor nobody. It's like you out here by yourself. So my other resolution is like, everybody is not your friend. Especially friends, family. Because... Um... I had a situation with a friend, right? Um, I'm not going to mention her name. Um, she was living with her mom and her baby and stuff like that. And, you know, she still lived with her mom or her mom. Or her mom lived with her here, near or there. But I'm not talking bad about her or nothing like that. It's just that, you know, my family seen it and I even seen it and I still was, you know, hanging around her, you know. But at the same time, I didn't pay it no attention. And then, you know, what's the old saying? Hold your enemies closer. So, you know, I always brought her around my family, you know, and stuff like that. One day, you know, she had uh, came to my cousin house and it was my daughter's birthday, her daughter's birthday and our other two, my other two cousins, a kid's birthday. So we was doing they all their birthdays because they was all born in October. And we was doing their birthday the um, same week. But it's like I'm getting off a of topic, topic, but I'm rambling. But um, so my cousin said, said something about about something I think it was about a bucket or something I don't even much remember but I remember the story and the next day I went to work 
and my phone was just blowing up blowing up blowing up especially off of facebook i did have a facebook i don't have no social media at all i don't even advise it because it's just fuckery on there and i don't have time for people that sit back on their little computers start talking trash about me and stuff like that because one thing about me i'm not finna sit here and deal with the bullshit so yeah so my phone was going off it was just ringing i was getting text messages she was like yeah what the fuck wrong with your cousin we went to wet where your um well need to stay even though she knew where my cousin stay and she was like yeah i brought the bucket back to her and and all this and this and she can have the goddamn bucket you and your fucking family i'm like girl like what happened i'm so clueless because i've been so tied up with the party getting all the food getting all this and this me working and taking care of my me and my kids even though my daughter's dad was living with me i was taking care of me and my kids and him but there's near or there but at the same time you know i was um i had my own place right they was on government assistance and she felt like you know like dang she got her own apartment with her kids you know and i ain't got nothing i'm still living here with my mama you know but it's nothing you know she you know because she always tell me she was like oh i just can't wait till i get my own place i can't wait till i get my own place and i'm like girl you could have been had you your own place you know try to apply for public housing or section eight because i know these things because my mom was on it and so she was like oh i just can't wait till i get out this house oh she get on my nerves and all this and this and i was like okay i was like well do something about it you gotta do if you trying to get away from your mom you know we'll do something about it but there's near or there but it was just to the point to where my family seen it my oldest cousin seen it to where i was like not nah, nah she not jealous of me she not jealous of me and then when i moved in the same apartments her and her mom lived in my cousin told me again she was like yeah she jealous then my husband even told me he said yeah she jealous of you she is really jealous of you because after I had my five-year-old, I didn't have to work for a whole year. I didn't have to work. He paid all the bills and everything. So by 2015, I found me a job and I had a car and all this. And he bought me a car and stuff like that. That car got total. I had an accident, but then, you know, things happened. And then, you know, one day um, I was working in League City of 2018 and I seen her and I didn't even recognize her because she lost so much weight. And so she was like, oh, where you live at now? I said, oh, I still I'm living in Tech City in a house. She was like, oh, you got you a house now? I was like, yeah, I got me a house. She's like, oh, and her mom was with her, you know. And, you know, it's like, girl, when you gonna be able to go to the store by yourself or, you know, do this by yourself without your mom, you know, get your own place. Because when you, like my cousin Buffy told me, and me and my mom, we always had bumped head, especially when I was pregnant with my daughter 
she was like, mm -mm, two cats cannot stay together. Two cats cannot stay together. Mm -mm, two cats can't. Two cats can't. So I'm like ready. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm finna say. So I end up, my cousin end up helping me save my money. So my check, my job check went to my cousin bank, right? So anytime that I needed some money, I let her know, hey, I need this to be able to pay my bills or how much I need it. And she'll be like, oh, your check was so-and-so, you know, and, you know, she helped me save my money for my apartment. So I was like, okay. Then my mom was like, first, my mom brought it to my attention. She was like, well, you can get on section eight. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, just sign up. And so all you got to do is just have all you and your kids information. By that time, I had my, my daughter. And I had my son in 2003. I graduated in 2006. And yes, I had my son at an early age, which I'm not proud of. But, you know, that's um, a learning um, thing. I had to grow up real, real fast. And... You know, even though, because my family, they were so proud of me because I graduated. But anyway, I was trying to tell my friend, hey, go get on Section 8. Go get on Section 8. And she was like, ooh, they asked for all this kind of information. I don't want them all in my business. I'm like, well, it's giving you a roof over you and your child head, getting you away from your mama. What What else? I mean, the only thing you will have to probably pay in an apartment is rent, light. Well, the apartments that we lived in, we had to pay rent and water that was together to the um, leasing office. And we had to pay light, rent, water. That was together. Then we did uh, light and gas. That was it. But that's like you living in a doggone house. You know, that's like you living in a house. Like I live in a house and I pay rent, water, gas, and light. My water is not included. I mean, in the leasing office where we used to stay, they'll say, well, you supposed to uh, put the water with, you know, included with the rent. When they say included with your rent, that means added with your rent, how much you're going to have to pay every month with your rent. So I'm like, man, I might as well move into a house. What's the point of getting an apartment? So, where I live is, it don't have those kinds of apartments on this, on the end that I live in. It's nothing but houses. Now, on the other end, it's like apartments, uh, apartments and houses. But where I live is a good school district. On the other end, it's a horrible school district. Even though the school district that I live in took over the bad school district. So, but I know this is a rambling video. I just want to get a video out. Like some kind of video. Because two of my videos did not get no views at all so i'm kind of bummed about that i'm thinking about deleting them deleting 
my New Year's one, but I keep them on here, so, but this is the day in the life of me. I then cleaned up my kitchen. I cooked quesadillas yesterday. I did not video it. That was my thing that I wanted to do yesterday. I did not video it. I did not pick up my phone yesterday. I slept all day yesterday. And now I have so much energy to do everything. But I'm just so... I don't know. But that's my New Year's resolution. Those were my New Year's resolution. And I'm just trying to get this video out but on my phone. But it's like... Mm, I just hate it. I just wish I had like over a thousand subscribers because i really want to go live but um this other youtube couple they found a new way where you can go live on you now and you know they was like yeah we're gonna start putting going live every wednesday on you now and I was like, what? What is you now? And it's like, were you able to go live? You able to call some of the people on YouTube? You can't call, call nobody. All you can see is their comments and, and whatever. But I talk to you guys later. I might do... I'm going to do a cooking video. Because somebody told me I should do quesadillas. What kind of content? They said quesadillas. And I did quesadillas yesterday. And I didn't even video it. So the next time I do quesadillas, I got to video it. I got to remind myself do it. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Peace.